Okay, so it's just after 7 a.m. in the morning here in my part of the world, and uh, even though it's so early, I uh, I just had to get this off my chest. Mind you, I say it's so early. A lot of my viewers are from the US. At 7 a.m., you've probably been up for about three or four hours already, haven't you? You busy little bees, you're probably on your lunch break at 7 a.m. Living the American dream. Yeah, well, that ain't how we roll back here in the old country. At 7am us Europeans look like startled baby birds. Anyway, the point is, um, Ringo Starr has a YouTube channel now. What a time to be alive. Peace and love, everybody. Now, I think what I'm going to do is explain why that's something you should be interested in. Yeah, that's how YouTube videos work. You're getting the knack of this, Danny. As many of you know, since 2008 every year, I use my birthday, July the 7th, to spread peace and love. Now, I think as I'm getting older, I think I've realised that I'm a pathological contrarian. You know, when I was younger, I didn't really know how to mitigate that, because people would ask me, who do you prefer, you know, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, and I'd be like, oh, I don't really like the Beatles, I think they're overrated. But what I've come to realise is that if you uh, answer people like that, they think you're a twat. So I've sort of learnt over the years to convert my natural contrarianism, you know, thinking that everything everyone likes is shit. I don't just say it's shit now. I'll respond with some sort of biting, sarcastic remark, which I think just makes everyone a bit nervous around me. But it is what it is. <laughs> So whereas in the past, uh, if someone asked me about the Beatles, who's your favourite, you know, Paul McCartney or John Lennon, I'd have probably made a joke about how, well, you know, after the Beatles separated, um, Paul McCartney did a little thing called Wings with his wife Linda, and that was just as fruitful as the Beatles, and then being brought up vegetarian, Linda McCartney's meat substitute sausages were a staple of my childhood. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> anyway, get on with it, Danny, eh? It's, it's nearly 8am now. I mean, uh, what would Jocko Willink or, or David Goggins think of this? Stay hard! Peace and love! No, it's no use. I need a coffee. Peace and love! It started by accident. The point to this video is that now when people ask me who's your favourite member of the Beatles, I can say wholeheartedly Ringo Starr, but not because of his music career, because of his YouTube career. I was asked the question, what would you like for your birthday? Well, I said I'd like people to go peace and love on the 7th at noon. I, I don't know how well you heard that. Uh, so this is a, a genuine video by Ringo Starr on his YouTube channel, which has got 200,000 subscribers. Well done. Not jealous. This is a thing that uh, Ringo Starr does on his birthday now every year, where he spreads peace and love. And it's all very well and everything. It's just, it's, I'm so confused. The first year we were in Chicago where Barbara and I joined fans on the street, all 80 of them. I thought, I thought he was making a joke there. We joined the fans on the streets, all 80 of them. Just to clarify, because I think this is a bit confusing, Ringo Starr is telling us how he started this, I think he thinks it's a worldwide trend now on his birthday on the 7th of July that the whole world screams peace and love at noon, randomly, like a flash mob. <laughs> it tells you the backstory, how it started. Someone asked him, what do you want for your birthday? Fully expecting him to just respond, Oh, don't worry, I don't want anything fancy. I'm Ringo Starr, I've got everything I ever needed, said the fat controller. But no, he mused for a few seconds, probably. I want to spread peace and love all over the world. The whole world must scream peace and love at noon on the 7th of July. Yeah, okay, Ringo, we can do that. We were in Chicago where Barbara and I joined the fans on the street, all 80 of them, in front of the Hard Rock Hotel who made little cakes. <laughs> in front of the Hard Rock Hotel. 
who made little cakes. Does anyone in Liverpool still have that accent? Because I've never heard a Scouser talk like that in my life. They all talk like, Jimmy Carrockill, I have me dinner there every Friday! In front of the Hard Rock Hotel who made little cakes. I swear I don't know what's going on. I've never heard anyone who speaks anything like the Beatles. They all have this really weird accent. And, uh, uh, well, there's them and the, the Vultures in the Jungle Book, which I think are based on the Beatles. And then, for some reason, Morrissey, who's from Manchester, who doesn't talk like he's from Manchester, like all the other people from Manchester. He, he talks sort of like that, doesn't he? It makes sounds like the Beatles. What's going on? Is that sort of like... Is that like a neutral Lancashire accent or something? What What's going on there? Since then, it has grown so much with celebrations in countries all over the world. <laughs> Poor Ringo. <laughs> so deluded. He's been surrounded by yes-men since the early 60s. Starting in Australia. Can you hear me, Australia? And ending in Hawaii. Hello, Hawaii. His poor PA having to run around staging people screaming peace and love. Peace and love! Well, Karen, how is the peace and love going on the International Space Station? Having to stage cosmonauts and astronauts all hugging people dressed up as aliens. <laughs> Even our intergalactic cousins believe in peace and love now. Peace and love! Peace and love! You have all helped create a wave of peace and love that goes over our whole planet. And beyond. And it's a simple thing to do. How beautiful is that peace and love? So I'm giving you this reminder to join me, if you want to, at noon, your local time, on July the 7th, to post, say, or even just think, peace and love. At your local time, so everyone will be doing it at different times all over the world according to their time zone. I don't want you getting up too early or staying up too late. You've got to get a good night's sleep. Actually, it's probably for the best that uh, that he didn't um, get us to all do it at the same time. The world's economy would grind to a halt. Planes would fall out of the sky. There'd be a worldwide internet blackout. That would be great. A great birthday gift. For me and for the world, you know, it helps the planet. Peace and love helps you, me, the world, the planet, and the new planets we're going to. Yeah, someone spent the last 60 years exploring new planets, haven't they, Ringo? Yeah. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you. What's the name? Anyway, so that video was posted um, about a week ago, before his birthday, which was the 7th of July, yesterday. And uh, just to remind us, a couple of days ago, because, you know, in case it didn't have enough momentum already, mental, but yeah, maybe he just thought he'd give it one last push, so he released another short video. I know. Who thought it would be this quick? Tomorrow is my birthday. Yeah, time really flies when you're uh, not hallucinating. And the best gift you could give me is, as you know, peace and love with the sign, peace and love. So if you want to join me at noon, your local time tomorrow. It's not important, really, but it is kind of bothering me a bit that uh, he says, do you want to join me? And then says at noon, your local time, you know, they're not joining you, therefore. You're all doing it at different times. Nobody's doing it. Why am I even buying into... Oh, this is insane. July the 7th. And wherever you are, riding on horses, down the mine, on a bus, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I absolutely love Ringo Starr. I am a massive fan from now on. I mean, Thomas the Tank Engine was great. And the Beatles were all right, I guess. I prefer the Beach Boys, but whatever. Riding on horses, down the mine, on a bus, it doesn't matter. Hanging out in the park, remember to say, post or just even think peace and love i love i just love the way he he lives the way he 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 is the 60s the 60s never died with ringo star wherever you are riding a horse down the mine <laughs> mining uranium on pluto as it rains diamonds life has just been one long hippie free for all hasn't it it's amazing thank you ringo thank you thank you Anyway, uh, yesterday was the big day, and here is his message uh, for all of you. <laughs> yeah. 
Peace and Love rocks. And any minute now, it will be my birthday, July the 7th, and it's noon, the clock is ticking. Three, two, one. Peace and love, everybody, peace and love. Uh, thank you for joining in, peace and love. He honestly seems like the nicest person. <laughs> In the world, doesn't it? Poor Ringo Starr. Um, I, I've got to say, peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. In front of the Hard Rock Hotel, who made little cakes, and the new planets we're going to. Yeah. <laughs> well, God only knows what's going to happen now.